We know A, B, C are positive integers. The sum of A squared, B squared, C squared equals 2009. We need to figure out the sum of A, B, and C. To solve this problem, we try to express 2009 as the sum of three perfect squares. To do that, we need to figure out the prime factorization first. We know it is divisible by seven, so we do division. 2009 divided by 7, 2, 14, subtraction, 60. 8 times 7, 56, subtraction, 49, so 7. So we get 2009 equals 7 times 287. But that one also divisible by 7, so we get 7 times 7 times 41. So we get 7 squared times 41. So if we can express 41 as the sum of three perfect squares, then we can do the same thing for 2009. Now let's look at the first a few perfect squares. 1 squared, 1. 2 squared, 4. 3 squared, 9. 4 squared, 16. 5 squared, 25, 6 square, 36, 7 square, 49. Oh, not good, because 49 greater than uh, 41. Now let's look at the largest number, 36 first. 36 plus 4 plus 1, right, equals 41. Good. So 6 square plus 2 square plus 1 square equals 41. So that is the first case. Let's look at 25. 25 plus 16 equals 41. But we need three perfect squares. But if we take 9 and 4, not good. So that one's not good. Now let's look at 16. So 16 plus 16, 32, plus 9, 41. Good again. So 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 3 squared also equals 41. That is the second case. So let's see the first case. So we get a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals 2009. But this one equals 7 squared times 41. We know 41 for the first case is 6 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. Distribute 7 square to 6 square, so we get 42 square similarly, plus 14 square, and then plus 7 square. That means A, B, C equal to 42, 14, and 7, not necessarily that order. But the sum should be the same. So we get A plus B plus C equals 42 plus 14 plus 7. So equals 56, 63. The second case, so we get A squared plus B squared plus C squared again equals 7 squared times 41. Now, 41 can be expressed as 4 squared plus 4 squared and then plus 3 squared plus 3 squared. Again, distribute. So we get 7 times 4, 28 squared plus 28 squared plus 21 squared. So we get a, B, C are um, 28, 28, and 21. Again, not necessarily that order, but the sum A plus B plus C should be the same. Because 28 plus 28 plus 21 equals 77. So we get two solutions for the given problem, 63, and 77. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.